welcome to This Week in Pearl. I'm Therese Zapel, the Public Information Director here in the City of Pearl. And we've got something exciting to talk about today. Obviously, you know, Pearl Day is this weekend and we're bringing it back to the park. Now, for a lot of you, you know exactly why that's a big deal. But there's a tradition that's being brought back specifically by Pearl High School. And we've got some special guests here to talk to us about what's going on with that. So obviously these are our guests from Pearl High School. We've got Anna Winston, the sophomore class president. We've got Brian Quick, the sponsor. Tiffany Durr is a sponsor and Jack Durr is the student body uh, vice president. So they're bringing back bingo, y'all. This is a big deal. Um, you guys talk to me about kind of what, what was the thought train behind, hey, we're going to do bingo this year. Well, each year, um if we want to do a fundraiser, we have to get some approval for that. We had already put in to be able to do bingo, and the inspiration came from our Kiwanis Club's annual pancake supper where folks from throughout the community come, raise money for all of uh, Kiwanis projects. Uh, and so we had come up with the idea of doing bingo at the school just to have another community event. Um, but that would also allow us to raise funds for projects that the sophomore class will, you know, has done this year but going forward to be able to do those things their junior and senior years um, and then so we'd already gotten approval to do bingo and our original plan was to do it at the high school uh, then once the city of Pearl and the mayor announced that B Pearl Day would return to the park there was somebody who commented on the social media post and said oh I hope they'll bring back bingo uh, and apparently bingo is something that was always hosted at Pearl Lower Elementary Cafeteria which is right next to the park and so we checked into it met with Stacy um, here with the city and she encouraged us to move forward with it um, that they would love to have that as part of Pearl Day um, and so that's that's how it all became Sure. Now, for the folks that are newcomers to Pearl, kind of like I am, tell me about the history behind bingo. Well, I think, like I said, I think it's, it's traditionally been a part of Pearl Day uh, when it was in the park, and uh, they had always done a Pearl uh, bingo event in the cafeteria at the lower. And that's all. That's a basically all we know. I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't even know that there was bingo uh, as part of Pearl Day. And I've been to a lot of Pearl Days. <laughs> sure. Well, and, and I think it's something that as I've talked to people, people remember it being kind of a, a tradition that was really enjoyed. And then it just didn't come back, I guess, at some point. Um, tell me a little bit about kind of when they gave you guys the go ahead to do it during Pearl Day. What changed about the way that you planned for something like this? Brian, you look like you have a thought. <laughs> <laughs> or did anything change at all? Well, I think we knew that um, preparing something large like this for the city had to be done well. So we, um, Ms. Durr and I went uh, to the city uh, senior citizens bingo and kind of observed them to see what they do. Um, we've gone to some other bingos and of course we've had bingo on different cruise ships and things. So we brought all those experiences um, to try to develop a really, really good bingo experience for our city and our citizens. Good deal. Now, who is going to be running this? Who is actually helping with the bingo on that day? Who's going to be running this? Who is actually helping with the bingo on that day? So we have parents and students that have like signed up for different shifts that we have. Um, ones at 9, 11, 1 and 4, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. So tell me about this, Jack. You guys, I mean, as students, y'all are having to really pitch in and do some of this. Who's, vol I mean, do you volunteer people? Is there a certain group of people that have to do this? Yes, ma'am. Our class members can sign up at any of the shifts that she's mentioned. And then also we, we hosted a practice round to help us all learn about uh, the process of hosting a bingo. And really it's just anybody in our class that wants to help and show up. Good deal. Now, how do you, how do you drum up support, whether it's, you know people who are actually going to give money or prizes or whatever like that how did y'all accomplish that through this process we initially just started with businesses that we frequent a lot ourselves um, and most of them are very willing to give a donation or a prize and then we have um, just kind of went through the city and looked through the chamber members to see um, individuals that would be willing to help us out and so we've had a large number of supporters and um, businesses contribute to our prizes and donations. 
So Anna, tell me how, as the sophomore class president, you were able to kind of get your um, classmates to support this by drumming up support from other businesses and that kind of thing. Well, some of our classmates, some of my classmates um, who are working currently, uh, we've encouraged them to bring donation letters to their jobs so that we can uh, bring in more uh, support for this fundraiser. Jack, I understand you've got a list of those in front of you right now. Yes, ma'am. We tried to cover a wide age range as well as interest. We've got things all the way from Massage Envy to Walmart. We've got DBAT for the kids, and if you need an oil change, we also have one of those available. We really just tried to make sure that if you're a citizen of Pearl and play our bingo, you'll have an opportunity to win something either you or your family will be able to use or enjoy. Mr. Quick, I see you've got the bingo cards right there in front of you. Um, talk to us about how this is going to work. I mean, we know how to play bingo, but what's it going to look like on that day? So when you come in, you'll uh, have the opportunity to purchase uh, bingo cards for $10, and you'll have three games that you'll play. So you have, we'll have play blue, orange, and then the green. And additional to the green, you can purchase yellow sheets as well for $5. And so the first two games will be kind of your basic bingo, and then the last one will be something a little more challenging. So we have an airplane design. Uh, we have a blackout. So there's different, different um, games we can play. Um, so that will, you'll purchase these when you come in, and then we'll sit down, and then we'll start at 9, 11, 1, and 3. So when you, like, say at, at one session, how many games do you play in one session? So you'll, be, you'll play three games in each session. So you'll, you'll have blue sheet, then the orange, then the green, then the yellow bonus sheets. Good deal. So this does sound like a lot of fun to me. I'm not usually a bingo player, but I can see myself out there, and I think this will be a good thing for people to do, even if they're not bingo players. Um, they can come and just listen to the gospel music and get out of the sun. Um, talk to me about what this benefits, Ms. Durr. Like, what, what is the, the positive aspect of this besides just the fun? Well, it is a fundraiser for Pearl High School sophomore class, and all of the money that is raised will be used next year and the following year as they do different types of projects and events. Um, things that they will, you know, spend the money on will be homecoming. We always do some really elaborate floats for the homecoming parade. Um, and if anybody is familiar with Spirit Week, when the Pearl Pirates play the Brandon Bulldogs, that is probably one of the best weeks of the entire year at the high school um, and money raised from this event will help us make all of the decorations that are put up on our class's spirit day. Y'all hear that? This is going to go towards spirit week and that is a very important process in um, that homecoming week and beating the Brandon Bulldogs and all that. So um, we just got to throw that in there too. All right, guys, is there anything else about... Um, about the bingo that y'all are doing that people need to know that maybe I wouldn't know to ask you about? I would say um, they can come to one or all four sessions if they want to increase their chances to win. And like Jack mentioned earlier, um, it is some, we have prizes that will appeal to all ages. Uh, so children are welcome to come play. We said we have things for the young, the old, the in-between, male, female, um, and it's all been 100% due to the generosity of our local um, businesses here in Pearl and a couple from outside the city limits with Pearl ties. I know um, the Beach Look Boutique is in Brandon, um, but it is owned by a Pearl graduate. And so everybody has not hesitated one bit to contribute. Uh, and, and we have told everybody we have thousands of dollars in prizes to be won. Yeah. Well, and you were saying something about there's one particular one you've got on your mind. The that $120 massage empty gift card has my name written all over it. But if you would like it, you better come play bingo. Yeah, give her a run for her money. Um, what about you guys? What What are you looking forward to, Mr. Quick? What, what would you win if you could just pick a, a prize? Re Rebel Outdoor has donated a Cress a battery powered tree pruner. Um, it's like a little mini chainsaw, and so that'd be my prize. That would actually come in handy for me as well. Ms. Durr, what about you? I think I could give Anna a run for her money on that Massage Envy gift card, uh, but there are tons of gift certificates for different meals. Um, 
and from various places so any one of those i think would be great or i would enjoy to i would i would like to win the mississippi braves family four pack that includes four field level tickets and food and drinks for four i know that my nine-year-old son would love for our family to be able to go and enjoy the braves in their last season here in pearl absolutely now jack you're a baseball player is that the one you hope you win too or do you have uh, something no, else no. in mind Actually, I'd like to win either the free round of golf from Pro Municipal yeah. Golf Course or the $100 gift card from Kapaya Bank. It's going to be a fun time for everybody, and we're glad you guys are bringing this back. Like I said, I know that a lot of people have seen this as one of our um, our real traditions here in Pearl leading up to the time before COVID. And so the fact that y'all are doing this again is, is great for a lot of people. Do you plan on doing it again next year? Absolutely. We plan on doing it for the next two years. <laughs> this one and two more while these, while these uh, young people are still in school. Good deal. Okay. Well, thank y'all so much for joining us. We've had a great time. Um, I've gotten to meet some really neat people today, and I'm glad I got to show you my new friends and tell you what we're doing. So if you want to play bingo on Pearl Day, you're going to show up at the Parks and Rec Department. Um, the sessions are at 9, 11, 1, and 3, and that's the perfect time to come win that prize that you didn't even know you needed, maybe. So come on out to Pearl Day. Enjoy all the, you know, the fun there, the gospel singing, all that kind of stuff. But make sure and go play bingo and support the sophomore class at Pearl High School. Again, thanks for joining us. I'm Therese April, the Public Information Director for the City of Pearl.